Hello everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm the Viet Vegan because I'm Vietnam Vegan and today's video is sponsored by Mom Bento. I love a good bento box and this one is going to be Vietnamese style. So we're making a green mango salad with vegan shrimp. We're also going to be making a very simple Vietnamese fried rice which can use up all these leftover veggies in your fridge and a northern Vietnamese style tofu dish. If you're interested in buying your own bento box from Mom Bento, you can use the code the Viet Vegan to get 10% off of orders from the website. We're going to start off making the fish sauce, which is the dressing for the green mango salad. Now this is kind of based off of my regular fish sauce recipe, but I've reduced it by like a quarter. So you don't have to make that amount. But what you can do is if you're making the nuke jam recipe that I have on my blog, swap out the soy sauce for vegan fish sauce instead. And then you can just use as much of that fish sauce as you want to taste in the salad. But I'm making a fresh batch because my normal sauce in my fridge is made with soy sauce. Whereas this one I'm making with vegan fish sauce because Eddie doesn't really like the vegan fish sauce as much. It's kind of necessary for this recipe. We're gonna start off by pounding a bunch of garlic and sugar into the mortar and pestle. You wanna make it as like finely pounded as possible. Sometimes if you don't go long enough, then you just kind of have like some pieces of smashed garlic that are pretty big. If you like it spicy, I like to add about one bird's eye chili. If you can't really handle spicy, I was making this for people who I wasn't really sure if they could eat spicy. I only added about half or like a third of the chili. You know, adjust to your liking. If you can't really handle spice, leave out the Thai red chili, bird's eye chili, whatever you wanna call it. Then you're gonna add boiling water to dissolve the sugar and sort of melt everything in and then add your vegan fish sauce and some lime. So my recipe makes like the amount of sauce that you need for this recipe. But like I said, you can always just make like a full batch that I have on my blog. I'll link it down below. It should taste nicely balanced in terms of sweet, salty, and spicy. It is a very good time and it is a very good sauce. I use this liberally on anything. Once you're done making this, you're gonna wanna put it in the fridge to chill because you're gonna dress a salad with this. So you're gonna want it not to be hot. You know what I'm saying? Hot mango salad. That doesn't sound like a good time to me personally. While that's chilling in the fridge, we're gonna prep our green mango slash the other vegetables that we need. So obviously the main ingredient that we'll need for this is a green mango. Now, not only is the mango itself green, but it has to be pretty unripe as well. You want it as sour and as hard as possible. This one was actually pretty sour on the outside, but closer towards the center, it was a lot more ripe. I assume because of this experience that mangoes ripen from the inside out, which happens a lot with a lot of different fruits, like pears, for example, ripen from the inside out. So you want like a really hard, unripened, quite sour mango if you can. You can do this with a more ripe mango. It'll just be like slimier and it will be obviously a lot sweeter. So I got this julienne peeler from the Asian market. If I find one on Amazon, I can link it down for you. Um, but honestly, just look at your local Asian market. And I really like this a lot. I have a julienne mandolin slicer, but I'm really bad at using it. So I just prefer this hand peeler. So julienne, one whole mango. Try to avoid the really squishy bits. And then now it's time to prep the cucumber red onion and carrots. Now you can also use daikon for this, but I didn't have any in my fridge and that's fine. You wanna have less juicy vegetables ideally cause you don't want it to be too like wet. When I julienne the cucumber, I avoided the center of the cucumber cause it's like really watery with seeds. And then with carrot, I basically just did it until I ran out of space or I wasn't really able to grate it anymore. So it's about one medium carrot. And then for the rest of the carrot, I used it in the stir fry. Don't worry, there's no waste here. We eaten all of this good, good vegetable. All right, so now we're prepping the herbs. The people that I was eating with, I wasn't quite sure on their stance on cilantro. So I kind of kept the cilantro separate, but normally I would just mix it straight into the mango salad as well as the mint. Now you can also use Thai basil here. You know, you do whatever you want. Like you can add more herbs, add less herb, you do you. So I like to roll up these mint leaves into a nice little round and then slice them, ribbon them, ribbon slice them. I don't know. Uh, and then add them directly to the mango salad. One of the key components of green mango salad is vegan shrimp. Well, shrimp but I'm using vegan shrimp here. I got this from Nations. Um, I talk about it and you can see the full package in my recent grocery haul. But yeah, I like to thaw it because it's it comes frozen. So I generally thaw it with some boiled water and then I pat them dry and then I slice them in half because I don't really like large slices of the shrimp in the mouth. Give everything a toss with an appropriate amount of sauce. You sauce it as you like it. I start with half and then I add more until I like the way it is. It'll depend on what vegetables you have and how big your vegetables are. So adjust accordingly. You don't want it too wet, but you want it nice and coated. So once that's all dressed, ready to go, pop it in the fridge and let it chill and marinate in those flavors. 
Now it's time to prep fried rice, which is my favorite way to use up leftover vegetables. Now these are the remnants of the vegetables that I had sort of grated for the mango salad. For the harder vegetables, you wanna cut them pretty small. And then for vegetables that are a little bit bigger or shrink a little bit or have a lot of water content, you wanna make them a little bit bigger so that they don't completely disappear in your fried rice. So for carrots, bell peppers, celery, that kind of thing, you wanna dice them like fairly small. For things that will like kind of shrink more like mushrooms, onions, etc., you wanna cut them a little bit bigger. So we're gonna start with some oil. I like a generous amount of oil. It just really helps everything come together. And when you fry it with the vegetables, the oil gets nice and flavorful with the vegetables. So I start off with the sort of like faux mirepoix. So I have some green onions in here, carrots, red onion, and then I stir fry that until the carrots are kind of soft. Then I add the frozen corn and I kind of let that like char a little bit. Now I add the rice. So I'm using one cup of cooked rice here, but the best rice to use for any fried rice is day old rice. You wanna use like drier rice because it'll absorb the flavors a little bit better, especially if you're having pretty juicy vegetables. So I season this with some mushroom broth powder and a little bit of soy sauce. Vietnamese style stir fry tends to be a lot paler, but doesn't skimp on any flavor because you use some mushroom broth powder. I get it from the Asian market. It is like a bouillon granule um, and I use it in a lot of my cooking. Taste to check the seasoning. If if you want it spicy, you can add some black pepper, white pepper, a little chili flake if you like it, a little, little picante, you know what I'm saying? And if you want it saltier, add a little bit more soy sauce or a little bit more mushroom broth granules. I generally like to under season the fried rice because I usually serve it with something that is salty. So the rice still has flavor, but isn't overwhelmingly salty. All right, we're on the last component of this bento box and that involves frying tofu. Now I don't really love frying tofu, but honestly, this dish was very, very good. So worth it. I'm sure you could air fry or bake the tofu. If you've ever had agadashi tofu, which is like the Japanese version of this kind of, it is like fried tofu with like a brothy savory sauce. This is basically the same thing, but with Vietnamese flavors instead. This is apparently like a Northern style Vietnamese tofu dish, which I have never heard of. I learned about it when I saw it on Pinterest from the delightful plate. I had to try it and boy, howdy, it's delicious. So I shared the vegan version of the recipe down below, but I've also linked it in my blog post from Sophie at the delightful plate. First, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna drain your tofu and then pat it as dry as possible. I'm using like a medium soft tofu here, or it's like an Asian style medium tofu. I find that Asian brands of tofu are generally a lot softer compared to Western brands of tofu. So if you're buying from like a Western brand of tofu, maybe go for like a medium tofu or a medium soft. I don't really know. You can use medium or firm here. It would be easier to handle, but I like like a softer tofu. I think it just like, it's just so much more delicious. I preheated a deep pot of oil. So I use about like two, two to three inches of uh, vegetable oil. You wanna use an oil like canola or vegetable oil that is good for frying. I preheat it until it's about medium to medium high heat or about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So you want it hot enough that the tofu will bubble once it goes in. Cause if it's not hot enough, then the tofu will just end up absorbing a lot more oil and it'll be very oily. I use about two tablespoon of this hot oil and pour it over the diced green onions here. And this is gonna be part of the sauce. You remove some of the oil from the green onions, but honestly, it makes it more delicious because it's like infused with the green onion. Uh, so I, I use all of it, don't, don't worry about it. So you're gonna fry your tofu in batches. I try not to fry more than like three or four in a pot at a time, because when I start putting like five at a time all at once, it all kind of stuck together. So I generally put one in, let it fry and develop a little bit of crust before I add in the next one. So keep frying until all sides of your tofu are golden. You're gonna wanna flip them, make sure that they don't stick together. And then once they're nice and golden, remove them from the oil and let them drain on a paper towel. Next, we'll make our sauce. So I'm using one teaspoon of mushroom broth powder, or you can just use your favorite vegetable broth. I added some boiling water to dissolve the powder. I have some vegan fish sauce and then the onions from the green onion that I wilted with some oil. Mix that all together and give it a taste. You want it to taste sort of like brothy, but not too salty, and it'll have a nice enough flavor for the tofu. Now we're gonna pack up our bento. So I like to add like a decent amount of mango salad and then I add tofu on the other side. I like to add four pieces of tofu because we had four people, four bento boxes, four pieces of tofu each. Um, and so I kind of stuffed them all in there, but you know what, it worked out really well. And then I spooned out some of the sauce into the little container that comes with the bento box and then spoon a little bit extra on top of the hot tofu. That way it absorbs more of the flavor and it is very good. Add in some fried rice into the side. I actually didn't make enough fried rice for all four bento boxes. And so for me, I just didn't eat any fried rice. This makes about three servings of fried rice. And there you have it. 
that is the Vietnamese style bento. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like these recipes. They're very, very tasty and very good. And they make a very nice, well-rounded bento box. Again, a big thank you to Mom Bento for sponsoring this video. If you follow me at all on Instagram, you know that I love using these Mom Bento boxes to pack for picnics or for hikes. They hold a surprisingly large amount of food and they're always coming out with new beautiful designs like this koi fish one. Use code thevietvegan for 10% off. And as always, you can find these recipes linked below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a delicious day.